The last version has to do with quantum mechanics. And this is more the one that's been, uh, that's been popular recently in, in movies and so on. Um, and that's the idea that there are multiple possibilities, which in some sense are real. And one way of thinking about quantum mechanics uh, is when you make a measurement, you get a certain result. Mm -hmm. The result seems to be random and it's randomly selected from a set of possibilities. So you could imagine, for example, flipping a coin, classically just flip a regular coin, you get heads or tails. And of course you get one or the other and then you forget about the other possibility because it's not relevant to you. But if you wanted to, you could say, well, imagine the world is sort of split into two and there's a version of me that sees heads and a version of me that sees tails. And they're never gonna interact with each other. They don't really exist in the same space, but you could keep them both. And then maybe they flip the coin again and now there's four versions of you and so on. And you follow a certain path through this tree the rest of the tree is there if you really want to think about it as a set of possibilities. So one interpretation of quantum mechanics is that those possibilities could interact with the one you're in. And they don't generally, or at least the effect they have is so small that we don't notice it. But for microscopic experiments, for example, if you flip a coin for a particle, you could send light through a, a, a mirror, which is half silvered. So the light can either reflect or transmit and it has about a 50% chance of doing either one. We send a bright beam of light through, it'll split into these two paths, send a single photon through, it'll follow both paths in some sense. So both of those possibilities will be represented in the particle's wave function, and they will then interfere later. This is the many worlds theory. This is the many worlds interpretation of quantum so, mechanics. Yeah. So just so I get it right, at any given point in time, there's these multiple folks in the world that are happening at the same time, and those worlds exist. It's a probability. What's happening? So the term exist is an English word, <laughs> which refers to a set of uh, concepts that we have all developed um, from our ordinary experience. I just uh, uh, two days ago gave a lecture um, in my quantum mechanics class about this precise point. Mm -hmm. And um, I gave an example of an experiment where you have what I was just mentioning, a beam splitter, a splitter that uh, it's a, a device, a half silvered mirror that splits a beam of light into two into two, uh, two parts. It's like sometimes at a circus, there's one of these mirrors where two people can look and they'll see the combination of their faces yeah. that uses these things. And the results of that experiment, when you turn down the light source so that only single particles are going through single photons at a time, cannot be explained by the particle flipping a coin and following one path or the other. They also can't be explained by the particle splitting into two half particles and following them both. And they also can't be explained by the particle following neither of these two paths which just seems to rule out every possibility. Uh, and in fact, the truth is that the particle evolves into what's called a superposition. It's an English jargon term that physicists have developed to describe this new way of being. Now, does that mean that the particle exists on both paths in two places at the same time? Depends on what you mean by the word exist. And uh, you know, I don't wanna argue semantics, but there's a mathematical structure which just isn't, it's not or, it's not and, it's not neither. It's, it's, not, it's not both, right? It's something else, it's a superposition. So that's the sense in which these multiple versions are there. They're in a, this, the wave function that describes everything, including you, the experiment, or that did the experiment, is a superposition of quantum states. And in each part of that superposition, you may have gotten a definite result, but it's a different result in, in each of these branches. That's this many worlds interpretation and you know, a lot of these movies about the multiverse are playing off of that idea, of course. In reality, you can't go back and forth between these. They don't affect each other for macroscopic superpositions in any way that we've ever detected. The only place where you really see this as an important physical effect that you can, you can test is for tiny systems consisting of just a few particles, not an enormous classical object like a human being. Um, and so we don't really know whether this is the right theory but it's the right theory for elementary, for small experiments. It's pretty natural to extrapolate it to the large.